I'm into you. I just hope this calms Charity down. If anyone can make her feel better, it's you. You know, sometimes I can't believe that I'm the lucky guy you married. Don't, TC. Sweetheart, I know you can't handle all the adulation, but you better get used to it, because I'm not gonna stop. Now, only if our daughters can turn out to be just like their mom. Why, are you worried about them? Absolutely not. Whitney and Simone have the best role model in this world, and I have no reason to believe that they won't be as amazing as their mother. Charity, these people that you're seeing, do you know who they are? Yeah, but it's really strange and confusing. It's okay. Just, just tell me who they are. Who do you see? One of them's Dr. Russell. See? Okay. Who was the other person? It's a man. Is it TC? No. It's not TC. It's Julian Crane. Are you sure? Yeah. It's Dr. Russell with Julian Crane. I saw his picture in the paper. That's odd. Eve doesn't even really know him that well. <laughs> That's what you think, Gracie. Your best friend knew Julian Crane a lot more intimately than you think. And there are photos hidden in that bird statue to prove it. Funny the secrets friends keep from one another, huh, Timmy? Timmy doesn't think it's funny. Eve didn't tell anybody because she feels sorry for what she did. Why does anybody have to know what happened all those years ago? Because that's the way the cookie crumbles, cookie face. Anyway, I'm not the rat around here. Charity's doing all my dirty work for me with her nasty little premonitions. I can't help it if she's blabbing about what she sees. You mean Charity can see what happened all those years ago between... Eve and Julian Crane? Clear as day. <laughs> Even though she hasn't actually seen the photos, her mind's eye is picking up on them. That's why I'm sure that the bird has to be close by, or else she wouldn't have such good reception. Jimmy still doesn't get how the bird got from the backyard to inside the house. Hey! He must have found it outside and then smuggled it into the house, hoping to drive Charity crazy. Oh, oh that wicked girl. <laughs> Timmy thinks she's mean. <laughs> As usual, your instincts are up the spout. She did us a marvelous favor by helping to drive Charity over the edge. Poor thing doesn't realize she still won't get Miguel in the end. Why not? Because when Charity loses all her marbles, she's going to kill her Romeo. Then, and only then, will her powers be ours. <laughs> Charity, close your eyes again. Maybe the visions will disappear like they did before. I can't. I can't stop seeing them. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't let him do that. Tony, what is it? What is it that you see Eve and Julian Crane doing? Bad things. Things I can't tell you.
you still don't know what's causing Charity's hallucinations? Not really. It all started when she was around some bird statue that a woman brought into Grace's shop. Bird statue? Well, I didn't see it myself, but even so, it doesn't shed any light on what's happening to Charity tonight. That bird statue's long gone by now. Maybe if you close your eyes again. I can't. I can't stop seeing them. Why is this happening to me? Charity, I don't understand. But maybe if you explain to me what it is you see Eve and Julian Crane doing. I can't tell you. Why not? But Charity, does it have something to do with sex? What's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you. Hey, you're just upset, and what you're seeing is not happening. I know, I know it's not. But why do these visions seem so clear? Why won't they stop? They will stop. I promise you. <laughs> Trust me. Now, Charity, please come lay down and close your eyes again. Okay. Try to concentrate on keeping your eyes closed, like Dr. Russell said. Okay? I'm gonna go get Dr. Russell. This couldn't be going any better if I'd masterminded it myself. I can't wait to see Eve Russell's face when our world collapses around her. <laughs> wow. You really know how to surprise a girl. Shh. Don't say anything. There's something I gotta do. Admit it, come on. That guy over there is your boyfriend, isn't he? No, no. I mean, he's not even what you call a friend. He's just someone I happen to know. For real? Trust me, if I did have a boyfriend at all, it would not be Chad Harris. <laughs> it's written all over your face. You've got a thing for that guy. No, I, d I don't. Then why do you keep looking at him like that? I'm not. I, I wasn't.
Teresa. What a nice surprise. I, I didn't know you'd be here. Does this mean that you and Chuck are back together? No. It's over. She's just, uh, never had a ring on that that, that, that expensive before. Right. That's all. Hey, there's no reason to be nervous. I mean, it's just a piece of carbon. Now, the real value in a ring is the love it symbolizes between a man and a woman. I'm, I'm sorry, Teresa. I'm, I'm just so excited about marrying Ethan that I, I wasn't thinking. I, I was just hoping that's why you were here. That's okay. Oh! Mark, I would uh, like to introduce you to Ethan Crane. Hello. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. And Gwen Hotchkiss. Hi. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. And this is Teresa's date. Gary. Hi, Gary. Pleasure's mine. Hi, Gary oh. and Gwen. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. Oh, well, if you all don't have a table, why don't you join Gwen and me? No. What was that all about? Wrong guy. I don't understand. The guy I went after, he was in the perp. Perp? <laughs> Wanna stake out. Drug dealer I've been after a while. I was hoping to nail him tonight. Oh, I didn't realize. So, I thought I spotted him just as you came up. I'm sorry I grabbed you the way I did, but you know, I had to cover. Didn't want to make me as a cop. So you wanted it to look as though you and I were? Yeah. Couple having a date. Look, like I said, I apologize for coming on so strong. Just, uh, I needed for it to seem real. Right. Real. So, what are you doing down here anyway? Nothing, really. I, I, it was a nice night, so I decided to take a walk, and I love the water. Well, yeah, so do I, but it's not safe down here after dark. Excuse me. Lopez Fitzgerald. Silvano wanted you to know he's running late, but he'll be there. Thanks, Cal. One more thing. Some babe called for you. Wanted to know where you were working tonight. Hope you don't mind that I told her, but she sounded cute. <laughs> no problem, Cal. So, you were just out for a little evening stroll and didn't know I'd be here, huh? TC was with you. No, he and Sam went downstairs to give Miguel an update. Poor kid's out of his mind with worry. Oh, well, I don't blame him. Oh, no, Charity's hallucinating again. She's having a hard time keeping her eyes closed, like you told her to. But if only she could open up to what she's seeing, it might help. She told me, Eve. Good. I mean, if we know what her visions are, then maybe we can understand where they're coming from. So, tell me, what exactly did she say? This is it, Timmy. Grace is about to tell Eve that her secret is a secret no more. <laughs> Don't you just love it when bad things happen to good people? Uh, what I mean is... Uh... We, we really appreciate your invitation to, to join you and Gwen. I just, I just don't see how we can accept. Oh, well... Why not? Well... I think I know what it is. It's because you and your mother work for my family. That's it, isn't it? I can understand why you feel a little awkward, but there's no reason to, Teresa. Yeah, Ethan's right. After everything you've done for Gwen and me, I think of you more as a friend, a good friend. Um, please change your mind and say you and your friends will spend the evening with us. Come on, Teresa. It'll give us a chance to talk about the wedding. I'm sure you've already come up with some fabulous ideas. If you really want us to. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's go sit down. Oh. How am I going to get through this with me? Okay, just keep telling yourself that you don't have any feelings for Ethan, okay? You are a very strong girl. You can do this. I'll try. 
Yo, Whitney, you got any special requests? Requests? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's why you're here. The music. Yeah, what else? I mean, you didn't think they'd invite a guy like me to a swell shindig like this, did you? I didn't mean anything like that. Oh, that's exactly what you meant. That's okay. At least I know what I'm all about. Will you stop saying that? Acting like you know me better than I know myself. Well, did it ever occur to you that maybe I do? Coming, Whitney? Yes, I would love to. Well, now, who's to say that I was the babe who called the police station asking oh, for you? Oh, you are so busted. I can't even believe you're going to try and deny it. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> you got me. I knew it. I just wanted to tell you again that I had a great time at the pool hall. Yeah? So did I. And you made a pretty big impression on my buddies, too. Really? Kidding? The way you whipped Mac on the dartboard? Everyone enjoyed that. Not so sure Beth did. What, what do you mean? Well, you had to have seen it. I mean, she wasn't exactly thrilled to see me out with you. Honest, I, I didn't pick up on anything. How could you not, Luis? I mean, you've only been going out with her for years. Oh, wait, hold on now. Okay, yeah, it's true. Beth and I had something going on in high school, but that's ancient history. We just started seeing each other again every now and then a few months back. Every now and then? That's right. Nothing against Beth. She's great, but there's nothing heavy going on between us now. Does Beth know that? Of course she does. We talked about it. Recently, in fact. Are you saying that you told her that it's over between you two? Tell me, Grace. What are Charity's hallucinations about? Spit it out, Gracie. Spit it out. She keeps seeing two figures. A man and a woman. Who are they? What are they doing? Well, that's the strange thing, Eve. Um, the woman is you. Well, she told me that before. I, uh, I don't think it's so strange. I mean, after all, I'm Charity's doctor, and we've been spending a lot of time together. It's perfectly natural that I would be on her mind. So, who's the man, TC? No, yeah, that's, that's what I would have thought, too. No. Who is it? It's Julian Crane. Really? You never met Teresa before tonight? No. Whitney's mother set up a blind double date for the four of us. Oh, you're lucky. Teresa is a terrific girl. Yeah, you're telling me. Ethan, I love this song. Will you dance with me? Your wish is my command. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, not much of a dancer. Oh, that's all right. But I'm a pro at refilling drinks. How about another soda? Please. Uh, how about you, Whitney? Sure. Mm. All right. Yeah. How are you doing? I feel like a witness at my own execution. I am so sorry. I tried to sit next to Ethan, but Mark pulled me over to sit next to him. No, it's all right. I'm gonna have to get used to being in close proximity to Ethan and Gwen, especially since I seem to be their wedding planner. <laughs> what? No, you cannot help Gwen marry the man that you love. Loved, Whitney, past tense. Anyway, I can't back out. Why not? Well, because Gwen might wonder why. I mean, she might even guess it's because of how I feel about Ethan. Felt about Ethan. Felt. You know, I can't let Ethan see you like this. I'm gonna get you some tissue, okay? Are you following me now? In your dreams. You know, you're much cuter when you smile. I only smile when I'm enjoying myself. You know, if you'll excuse me, 
I have to get something for Teresa. You sure you ain't got a special request you want me to play? I'm positive. I bet I know something that you might like. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna play it right now. Did you tell Beth that there wasn't any hope for a future with you? Uh, well, no, not in so many words. What did you say? Well, I was straight with her. I told her where I stood. Meaning what, exactly? Well, I told her as far as present and future are concerned, relationship-wise, that I couldn't make any commitments. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want to get married and raise a family. I do. But... I just couldn't tell her it would be with her. But you didn't say it wouldn't be with her either. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have come down here tonight. Well, what are you saying that for? Because I was assuming things that I shouldn't No, have. you weren't. I'm glad you came. Sorry I'm late, man. I, I got hung up at home. One of the kids came down with the flu and the baby said it was late. You know. <laughs> no problem. This is uh, my partner, Silvano. This is Miss Crane. I, I better let you get back to work. We didn't finish. Sure we did. Take care. Good night. I... I... No, get Eve. It's okay. You'll cut I, yourself. I'm fine. I, I don't know why I let it drop out of my hand that way. I hope I have another vial. I can't imagine what would cause Charity to have visions of you and Julian Crane together. I have no idea. I hardly know the man. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, you only met him recently when I did, right? Darn, I... I usually carry two vials. Well, I, I guess there's no logical explanation for it. I mean, nobody knows better than I, you know, after the ski lodge, that the uh, mind can play crazy tricks on you. Absolutely. I think, I think you may have hit on the connection. Uh, well, is it possible that Charity heard you talking about running into Julian and Ivy Crane while you and Sam were at the lodge? Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> that's probably it. His name just stuck in her mind somehow. Just still doesn't explain why she tied the two of you together. Eve's a slippery customer. <laughs> well, there's not a course in medical school that'll help us slither out of this one. Timmy doesn't like this. You could stop this tragedy right now if you wanted to, Princess. Well, Princess doesn't want to. Besides, I don't think even I could help her now. Why not? Because Pandora's box is cracked open. There's no one who can close it now. I think I'm gonna go make Charity some herbal tea. Ah, uh, tea bags. It's a good idea. And I'll I'll go in and talk to her, see if I can calm her down. Oh my god. Oh, this can't be happening. You have the feeling Teresa's not too thrilled about her blind date. I can't blame her. He seems like a nice enough guy, but she was totally in love with someone else. You don't get over that kind of rejection so quickly. I just wonder why Chuck broke up with her. I don't know. But I'm sure it shook her confidence. You know, I am going to try to think of ways to remind her how wonderful she is. No wonder I love you.
when nobody else feels like dancing? Uh, I already told Teresa I'm a real klutz on the dance floor. Well, how about it, Whitney? Why not? <laughs> <clears throat> What you asked Teresa to Dan. But she's on a date. I know, I know, but she looks miserable. Please, sweetie, for me. Sure. You mind if I dance with your date? What? Oh, knock yourself out. Dance with me, Teresa? Hey, Grace, how's Charity? Not great. Um, where's all the kids? They're in the living room. The kids are teaching Sam one of their video games. Well, actually, it's just a cover to keep Miguel's mind off of charity. Hmm. Well, he has every right to be upset. I thought she was doing well. <sighs> She's seeing things again, T.C. You know, I, I just don't know if I should tell Miguel or not. <sighs> well, I can't help you on that. I'm really feeling sorry for the kid. You know he's in the throes of his first love. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know how he feels. I'm still in the throes of mine. Well, come to think of it, me too. You know, Grace, I've dated a lot of girls before Eve. But when I met her, I knew that she was the one. <laughs> it's funny, TC. She says the same thing about you. You know, I was just telling her upstairs how lucky I was to have won her heart. A woman that beautiful, that talented, that smart. And I was her first. She could have searched the world over, and she wouldn't have found anybody as good as you. <sighs> well, Sam did okay for himself, too. Well, thank you, TC. You're welcome. <sighs> Charity started hallucinating again. Yeah, she's very upset. What'd she see? Did she say? Close your, your eyes again. It's better when you do that, isn't it? Yeah, but I can't keep them shut forever. Well, of course not, but we're going to get you better. So why don't you tell me everything that you've been seeing? And we want the unexpurgated version, Miss Pollyanna Wannabe. I'm sorry, Dr. Russell, I can't. Well, don't be shy, honey. Grace already told me that it has something to do with me and some man. Julian Crane, is it? Yeah. So, what are we doing? It can't be that bad. Fighting. Why you were fighting? <sighs> fighting? at all. Well, that's probably just a result of the trauma and conflict you've been suffering in your own life. There was something else. Well, what? Tell me. Don't be embarrassed. I'm a doctor, Charity. I've heard it all. Taking pictures of you. <gasps> pictures? With the camera. <sighs> Only you didn't have any clothes on. And you tried to get away from him, but he wouldn't let you. <gasps> oh, I see. I'm sorry, Dr. Russell. I don't know why I'm seeing these things. I don't mean to. Oh, it's all right, Charity. It's not your fault. 
I'm just so scared that if I keep my eyes open, I'll keep having these visions. Why don't you keep them closed for now? Why am I having these visions? What do they mean? Dance? No, oh, I don't on. think so. <laughs> Teresa, I've seen you dance before. I know you'd love to. I mean, I'm going to powder my nose anyway. Have a little fun. Hey, don't get me in trouble with the boss here. Uh, do you mind if we sit this one out? My shoes are killing me. Sure. Right. Oh, my God. I've got to do something. Be very proud of yourself, Sheridan. Dragging down the waist only to make a complete and utter fool of yourself. Oh, Brava, you've done it once again. Misread all the signs. And fallen head over heels for a guy who probably doesn't even think of you romantically. Oh, idiot, idiot, idiot. Hello? Hey, it's Louise. Oh, hi. Just thought you might like to know you brought me good luck tonight. I did? Silvano and I just nabbed that drug dealer. Oh, congratulations, I'm glad. So, uh, you took off before I could finish what I was saying. I think I got the general idea. I'm not sure you did. If someone asked me right now, who I could see myself hooking up with, or spending the rest of my life with, I'd have to be straight with them. I'd have to tell them it wouldn't be Beth. Does that mean you know who you could see yourself with? What has Charity seen that's making her so upset? You know, TC, it was very confusing, and I'm really not sure what it meant. You know, Charity's been through a lot, now this. Well, at least Eve is up there with her. Yeah, thank God for that. Yeah. I'm gonna get these sodas into the kids. Oh, there you are. Hey, you okay? No, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm really worried about Charity. Is she still having those visions? Yeah. You know, and I couldn't even bring myself to tell TC what they were. Well, I mean, why not? I mean, what did they have to do with him? It's not him so much as it's Eve. Honey, uh, I don't get it. Every time Charity opens her eyes, she has these visions of Eve and Julian Crane. <laughs> You're kidding. No, and according to Charity, they are doing things that they really shouldn't be doing. Do you mean... She didn't get specific, but I'm sure you get the general idea. Well, it's a good thing you didn't tell TC. I mean, he hates Julian with a passion. Yeah, well, I did get that feeling the times when we've all been out together. You did the right thing. I don't know. Oh, Sam, I just don't feel good about holding back. I mean, you know, it's not like any of this stuff has really happened. I mean, Charity's hallucinations are just that. They're hallucinations. Yeah. But the way TC feels already. I mean, just the idea of Eve with Julian would really set him off. You realize that all of this is just a figment of your imagination. None of what you're seeing is in any way real. Why are you so scared, Dr. Russell? It's nonsense. No. I can feel it. Why? Is it something with you and Julian Crane? What about Julian Crane?
count down to disaster. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a jumbo-sized bag of popcorn right now. Too fast as appetite. Eve, what about Julian Crane?